Fellas, I have been digging in the depths of the compost bucket, the naughty bucket. This is at the compost level, though. This is an old trial thing. He's been living in there a while. It looks like it's only five pins. I have never managed to get him open. I don't have a key for him. I have tried picking him before, but I'm going to try something different today. I'm desperate to start cleaning this bucket out just a little bit. Got a few of them out of there uh, through sheer determination. I have been learning to appreciate these picks more and more. These are the SS Dev designed by the German lock picking group. Very slender. And what I've discovered when you have a paracentric keyway like we have here, this little needle tip is perfect for squeezing up between the cuts in the warding for those pins. Now, I'm not saying it's going to work here today, but uh, I have high hopes. Got to try something different, right? Um, try top of the keyway. That's about as good as it's going to get. All right. I'm going to pick it clockwise. I'm going to take this guy. They all work. It, it does drag a little bit in there, and a piece of something popped out of there. At least it's not a cat hair, but a piece of dust. Let me tell you how long it's been since I tried this guy. All right, all the way to the rear, light tension. See what we can find. Looking for a binder. Nothing. All right, I just touched pin five. Let's try touching them again. It is dragging going up through that warding. But in fact, let me try one of the other ones. This also is from the SS Dev. It's a little bit finer. Let's see if he'll go up between that warding. Yeah, he's a little better. Looking for a binder. Nothing. All springy. All right, there's got to be one binder in there somewhere. Let me recock this. I'm going to slide the pick until I feel that first pin. It feels like him right there. Nothing. Okay, that was pin four. I got a very tiny click on him. I'm going to maintain my tension and see what else. Oh, there you go. Pin three, a little bit of counter rotation. I just touched pin one. Now we got a false set. So we are having a little success today. Looking for any kind of feedback? That was pin one again. So he's got two cuts on him. That was pin three. He's probably a T-pin from the way I didn't put any pressure. I just brushed him. Okay, this is pin four. A little counter rotation on him. Okay, I got a click, a very nice click, but I lost part of the fault set. Let's check pin one and two. One is good. Two is good. Somebody else fell down. Had to be five. Why is it always the one in the least accessible part of the lock? Why can't it be the one in the front? Let me double check just to be sure. But Okay, I'm getting counter rotation from it. I'm just trying to make sure I'm not on the warding. I believe that's on the warding because I'm still getting counter rotation even when I shove the pick all the way in there. So I don't think that that's true feedback. There we go. Pin one. There we go. So apparently the shaft was bumping against pin one, giving me, making me believe that the one in the back was the one giving me the feedback. Okay, there's three. I'm sorry, four. Check one again.
There we go. Pin four. Let me check one just to be sure. <laughs> it's got me freaked out now. Okay, that's definitely on on one on pin four. So let's come on. Now he stopped giving me feedback. Come on. Five pin lock. Ah, oh, there we go. Pin three. Deep fault set. I'm on pin one, getting a little counter rotation there. I did. Now it stopped. Okay. There's pin one. Deeper fault set. I thought I checked him. He's a little deceptive. Okay, that was pin three. That's the third time I've touched him and he's done that to us. So I'm willing to bet that pin three has a T-pin element. That's pin four, counter rotation. And I've lost the false set. Check one. Nope. Might have overset somebody. I'm getting nothing. That's pin two. All right, very deep fault set, and I don't know why. All of a sudden, I was just fumbling around back there like a blind man in the dark, and it just start, went into a deeper fault set. Okay, that's pin two. Just touched him. Let me check one. Okay, one is giving me counter rotation. Okay, good. Check two again. Okay, there's that two again. He'd fallen down. Check three is good. Pin four. Dang it. Where are you? I'm going to go with pin four again. Counter rotation. There, we got him that time. Very deep fault set. He's probably a sharp spool of some kind. We're getting close to the limit here on a five pin lock. Man, if I was a locksmith in the country that uses trivings, my knees would be, need to have like surgery to get them fixed. Constantly needling in front of one of these locks. Try to imagine what a six pin would be like. Okay, there we are on pin four. I'm getting some good feedback. Make sure, yep, definitely four. Come on, baby. Come on. Uh, pick is not getting deep enough. Let's try one of the other SS devs. I think this one's a little bit deeper, just by a hair. I can find him now. There he is. <laughs> I said he doesn't want to get in that warding. Can't quite get him deep enough. Hmm. I don't have another pick that'll go deeper. I gotta keep struggling with this one. Get in there. 
I'm going to force him. Nope. Get in there. Not working, guys. I have one more pick. This is again from the SS dev, but I'm almost positive that he will not fit into the keyway. Or he'll get stuck just like that. Come out. Come out. That's about pin four. There we go, we're on him. Come on. Okay. Woo! All right, back to the old one. Now you see why we need a set of three of those things. Pin one again, pin two again. Okay, pin three, counter rotation. Oh, God. Lost the false set. Where are you? Okay, that was pin two. Pin one. Counter rotation. Oh no, pin five. Twelve minutes fifty three seconds of picking time. All right. Five pins. That's all it is. Just five pins. I can't believe it. These are awesome, awesome locks. I have several of these living in the naughty bucket. All right, I do not have a key for this guy, so I can't screw this part up. Let's go ahead and get a pinning tray. Let me zoom out a little bit. Let me get all that stuff out from under it. Let's see what makes him tick. Okay, I am going to put a pick in here so I don't turn that too badly. I'm going to try to hold it and then see if we can't pry that off of there without losing the pick. Almost got myself. Come on. I am going <laughs> to... I did get myself. All right, so that's probably not the recommended way. It was almost off, though. I almost shoved it all the way through the finger. There we go. Okay, we got rid of him. Get rid of that. Don't need to be looking at a constant reminder of my clumsiness. This is a very weird... Very weird looking tailpiece. So, see if I can find something that will sleeve it. And of course, that doesn't quite fit. It wants to. Yeah, it will. That probably will not go all the way through, though. Nope, that won't go all the way through. Good idea, though. All right, let's just push it out and cut it from this end. We're gonna. There's the high point. I'm gonna try to keep that centered on the key and the drivers, and then as this comes out on this end, I'm gonna keep my finger over these so they don't pop out. So let's cut it from the rear. Tweezers. Yo. Is this a challenge lock? 
It must be. That's the only explanation for that. A two-piece pin. Trial vinks don't come this way. All right, number four. Ass a barrel pin. Okay, let's move these guys over. It's only a five pinner, Bill. If this is a challenge lock, he's been living in that bucket for so long that I have misplaced whoever built it. I usually tag these things. Okay, number three. Looks like another Asa barrel. Stuck spring. Pin two. Come on. Asa barrel. And the last one. If you can see in there, the light's starting to show through. He's probably going to spring out and hit me in the eye. Hold on, he's gotten cockeyed in there. There he goes. Hey, looks like a homemade. Almost thought he was a two-piece pin, but he's homemade. And we have a different spring there. Let me set this guy down for a minute. We had a different spring in one. Much taller than the others. And then those two are well below the shear line. And the last one, Peter Block, Peter Block. There he is. He's a little mangled, but no worse for wear. All right, what do we got inside of here? I'm curious. In a triaving. Yep, number. I hope you can see it. Number three is actually undercut. So is number two. Number two and number three are both undercut. I don't know how they did that. Yep, little snag there. I don't know if it's on both sides or not. Yep, both sides. So number two and three, which had these barrel pins, had a little undercut in there, very cool. No wonder we're having so much trouble with this thing for so many years. All right. Let's see what we got in the core. Standard, 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 and standard. Let's see what the bidding looked like since it was such a hassle. Turn these guys around. All right, we do have a good amount of high-low, high-low here. So we got a, in the very back of the lock, the one that's giving me so much problems. Let me hold this up. First, let's take a look here. Completely stock. Both sides, nothing unusual. Got a little slash there, but that has nothing to do with picking. And I didn't do it. All right, we do have some good high-low, high-low, but the shortest one is hiding in the very back behind these two very low-cut ones. Moderate, not too bad, but this one definitely caused some reach problems. Um, that was probably, I thought, when I was going for four, it was probably him with that extra deep SS dev hook. Upstairs, we had almost all commercial. We had what I believe was, is that a movable part? Is that a hula hoop? Thought I saw it move. I might be wrong. I did see something move. All right, that, that battery did say Sony on it, but it clearly is a knockoff. I'm having more trouble with these guys. All right, this, it did look a little funny. I thought the center ring was missing. In fact, that is a pin in pin. So I did not even notice that until I th saw what I thought was the center ring moving. So very cool. This is clearly a challenge lock. So we have three barrel pins, all commercial, and then two of these homemade pin and pin with serrations on them. Very cool lock. I really regret losing the tag. This is clearly not a lock I got in a trade. This is somebody's, somebody went to some work for this thing and I regret losing the name tag. If you were the donor of this, find some way to prove it to me 
And I will put you in the description as the donor. I, I really do appreciate it. Great lock. And now I understand why it gave me so much trouble for so many years. Anyway, fellas, thanks for your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. Stay legal.